We are accustomed before that iPhones always have the same pouring setup. But since the arrival of iOS 14, everything changes. And suddenly, we are able to customize the home screen. So this is Raf, and I will try to customize my icons on the iPhone 11. And I'll provide you some steps on how to do it and give you some of my insights on this process. So let's begin. So first, you need to search and download the icon pack that you want it. So there are a lot of downloadable third-party icon packs that you can search through the internet. You can just Google it. Most of them are free, but there are a lot also that you need to pay as well. So the one that I'll be using would be on the certain website called icon.8, I mean icon8.com. So as you can see here, there are a lot of options that you can choose. These are free icons here. But you need to create an account first to be able to download this icon packs. So I tried to search already this phone icons. And you can see there are really a lot of options that you can choose here. So there is one certain pack that I want to choose. So from this one. And this is the iOS hand-drawn option for the icon for the phone. So what you're gonna do is you just need to click that icon that you want to download and then hit the download button and then it will download once you download everything here um, you just need to upload it on the iCloud since I'm using in Windows here uh, I don't have any options to directly transfer it to iPhone so so that's what we're doing here we need to upload it first to my iCloud then once you upload it to our to my iCloud then you can just download the icon pack or just the pictures here directly from your phone or your iPhone so if you're using in Mac so it will be much faster since you can just airdrop it or you can also just download it directly to your phone as your other options as well but on this option that I'm doing right now this is through the windows that I'm getting this icon pack since I already uploaded the custom icon pack, so I'll be downloading it using my files app. So I'll just click this files then go to my iCloud drive. And as you can see there, it's already here and uploaded. So I'll be just downloading this custom icon pack one by one. And then once already downloaded, um, we'll be going to the shortcut apps. All right, once you download there all the icon packs, we just need to search and open shortcuts app and then as you can see here i already created some shortcuts already by customizing the icons so to create another one you just need to hit the plus button and then click add action and then choose scripting and then choose open apps and then uh, click open and then search the app that you want to use for example phone for for this example and then just click the three dots on the top right corner and then click add and then there um, you can just customize the name let's just say um, I'll be just putting it phone and beneath the phone where we can customize the, the name of the icon is the icon also where you can change the picture for, for this option, um, this is the phone. All right, and then click add. And it's added to the home screen. And then you can just put phone here as well for the name of the shortcuts itself. All right, and then just hit done. And then uh, the shortcut is already there already or the customized icon will be on the home screen already. And then you can just rearrange it, whatever you like, and um, set it up depending on what you want on your home screen. So currently, this is what I made, a white minimalist setup for my home screen. So one downside on customizing your icons is that when you open it, it shows this annoying shortcut banner. 
So I've tried all the steps on YouTube in removing that banner, though I'm at successful. I'm thinking it's because of the latest iOS version, which I am on. It's 14.4.1. So if you know any other steps on how to remove that banner, you can comment down below. So um, the other disadvantage as well is that you won't see that notification bubble here to see if how many notifications you have on the certain app. But if you're cool with that, so it's it's great here that you can customize now your home screen and you can proceed it on doing this. I'm glad that currently in iPhones we do have these options right now that's only available to Android phones. Although it's not that perfect, but there's always room for improvement. So that was it. So I hope you like it all and thank you for watching my video. Please like, share, and subscribe and see you soon. Peace out.